This conference will now be recorded. Why is not sharing? I it is saying sharing screen. Share screen. Share. How about now? I think it's the screen. No. 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 I'm already sharing screen. I don't know what's wrong. How about now? No, ma'am. Ma'am, I need to start the meeting, ma'am. We will see how it works. Okay, I'll make one of you present because I don't know, like I'm sharing screen, saying sharing screen, and I'm not able to, if you're not able to see, uh let let me make one of you as a presenter. Who I can make? Norman, I can, can I make present? Okay. Sorry, who? Oh, my system was closed. Oh, no, no. Who, who can I make presenter? Okay, it's appearing, I guess. Now, can you see it's coming? Yes. Screen sharing is now paused. For what? Okay, leave. I'll make one of you presenter. Uh, who you said? Like, who shall I make? Asif, is it you? Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay, I'll make you presenter. Open up, um, open up Paint, Microsoft Paint. Oh, did you open Microsoft Paint? Yes, sir. Okay. So, um, first thing first. So, if let's consider uh, how many people that we are in there in the team now. One, two, three, four, five, six, including me, seven. Is it? Yes. Okay. So we are seven people um, in this group. Consider we are a Scrum team. So we are like seven members scrum team. So to understand how much human hour we have available within a sprint duration, right? So how much human hour we have available within a sprint duration, how will we know? That one point something hours, something remember. Anyone? No, per, uh, per person, eight hours working hours means uh, we have seven members. So eight sevens are 56 hours available for the two weeks sprint. No, no, per day, uh, 56 hours per day, we have to calculate. Then, Wait, for um, day, how, how is 56? Give me idea also on how it is 56. Uh, one uh, one day working hour is eight hours. That is the usual hours people are working in IT company or any company. Mm -hmm. So each member uh, eight hours means we have seven members. So eight sevens are fifty six. You say so per, per day we have fifty six hours. Yeah, in a day, fifty six hours of work we can do in a day. 
okay everybody else like what is your idea or if we remove one hour for lunch break time or lunch if we take seven hours per member seven sevens or 49 hours available we can take like that also we can take i don't know how in companies are calculating in it companies okay write down like asif can you please write down say capacity okay and write down our uh, team size Team mm -hmm. size is equal to seven. Team size is equal to seven. Um, the team capacity then write team size is equal to seven do it quick okay done so normally we take 70% of working hour as a productive hour 70% because we consider like we have meetings uh, we have like lunch break and we have other work which is like maybe any formal informal discussions so all of this like we have um, uh, during our working hour so we consider Uh, 70% off so one human being one person has how many hours 8 hours yeah 70% of 8 hours is how much how many hours Fifty-six. 56 hours sorry 5.6 5. hours Yeah, 5.6 so hours. Yeah, 5.6 hours. Normally, if it is rounded up, like it is six hours. So every day out of eight hours, we consider six hours are more productive hours. Okay, so. So it is like more of six hours that we consider as a productive hour. So six hours into total number of team size is equal to how many day? How many hours per day we have? Six hours, right? Productive hours. Six is like per person. So per whole team, how many hours per one day? Seven six out. Forty two hours. Yeah. So per day, the our like work is forty two hours per day for the team. Okay. Okay. Forty-two hours in a in a sprint. How many hours we have? In a sprint, how many hours we you have? Yes, means each person. Ten days. Uh, it's a whole sprint is ten days. So per person. Yeah. So ten days. So how many human hours we have for the whole sprint? Forty-two hours. So forty-two into ten, four four twenty hours. 
for yes yeah, so full sprint yes yeah, so we have 420 hours as like the total capacity so if somebody asks like how what is your capacity for this sprint then it is 42 hours sorry 420 hours for uh, the whole sprint okay so we have 420 hours okay so that's been like your total capacity now this is like capacity so you can say okay i have we can as a team we can take amount of work which will fit within like 422 hours okay now let's look at like estimation so in a traditional approach when we do estimation right so we used to do estimation how please remember this i'm not going to repeat again so when we do estimation what does happen first thing is we even before we join the project right so even before we join the project the project manager or the business analyst generally complete the estimation they already tell that okay uh, they say like okay the whole project is going to take maybe uh, six months or eight months or nine months time and then they would have submitted in a traditional approach which is like in waterfall approach meaning before when we start even before they hire people for the project they already tell they already tell that like how many hours it is going to take and for the total execution of the project right so in a traditional approach we do not get time or like the developer and tester do not get even option to estimate and say okay can this work get completed within the duration or not if before even like they join the project somebody would have given the estimation already you just have to get hired and they'll tell you okay by this is the release date and we need to finish all the project like by then so you just have to hurry and finish up the project by then you do not actually get uh, you do not actually get option to estimate for the project but in agile approach we estimate ourselves right so as a developer and as a tester you need to tell that like how long uh, and how much time it is needed to uh, estimate so in agile i hope you all are hearing me out in agile we kind of as a developer and tester we give uh, uh we kind of like give um give estimation for the work ourselves okay so here actual people actual people who are going to work which is like your developer and tester are going to give estimation okay so are going to uh give so, of estimation ma'am uh, here uh, the developer and the tester has to estimate or the scrum master should estimate who is responsible no. for the estimation the scrum master only does facilitation arrangement of meetings arranging the meetings and everything is like done by the scrum master but the developer and tester do estimations okay not even the product owner okay okay so it is always like the um, team member which is like developer and tester who does this estimation so this okay. estimation is there any meeting will be arranged for this estimation by the scrum master and all the developers 
and the tester uh, gather together in a place and they according to the capacity all together they will decide do the estimation or any one or any head of the developer will do or is there anything like that all the developer would do as when i explained about ceremonies i clearly told sprint planning which is done on the first day of the sprint that day for all the work we need to do estimation mm -hmm. so on the sprint planning event which happens on the day one of the sprint um we do estimation right so we do estimation so all the team member like your um, developer and tester does the estimation not any lead or anyone it is the complete developer and tester uh, they do estimation okay so now for the estimation in agile we follow relative estimation technique meaning we don't tell that okay this is going to cover in 5 days or this is going to cover in 5 hours we do not do estimation in hours or we do not do estimation in days we do estimation based on story points please make a note that we do estimation in agile based on story point story point meaning story point meaning it is like used as one of like um it is used and of like comparison unit okay so comparison unit so it is like um it is called story point story points are basically called uh story basically the unit in which we do estimation ma'am could you please repeat that point you are breaking up when you said the last point in agile we do relative estimation so we do relative estimation and the unit with which we do estimation is called story point so we do not assign any hours or we do not assign any days to the work but we assign story point okay so um in agile we use a uh, estimation there are different estimation technique the first estimation technique we use is called um poker planning please write it down the one of the estimation technique in agile is called poker planning okay estimation technique we use called poker the second estimation technique we use is called okay there is some background noise the second estimation technique that we use called bucket sizing b u c k e t bucket sizing
okay the second one is called bucket sizing the third one is called tea sizing what's the third one ma'am t-shirt sizing okay can anyone repeat what is the first one what was the third one again t-shirt t-shirt sizing so can anybody re refer like what that three different estimation technique we use for planning bucket sizing t-shirt sizing yeah so the most famous one is is the um poker planning that is mostly we use which is called poker planning okay so have anybody played poker before no no how come no? Like you guys do not uh, play cards we are mostly most of cards what i played is uno or bluff we are, we don't play poker <laughs> Okay, but do you know what is poker? Uh, yes. What do we do in poker? I, I've heard there's some... A, a person wins when they get a straight flush, I guess. Something like that. No, 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 no. One... What do we do in poker planning, guys? Can anybody define? I think um, in poker planning, you're not supposed to um, talk it loud. Just keep it steady. No, keep it steady. No, I'm asking what is poker plan? Poker meaning? What is about poker? Hmm. It's the who has the best um, sequence of cards type. It is about like mostly a card game. Do we agree? Yes. Okay. So I have to share my screen now. I think. Give me a second. Let me share my screen. Let me know once you can see. Not coming. No? No. No. No, we are not seeing them. You need to select this, uh, the, which window you are seeing. I do daily basis. The window selection is fine. I'm not sure what happened today. Not I have to drop and rejoin. Oh, God. Can you all rejoin? I'll, I'll close the meeting and reopen. Yes, ma'am. Okay.